If you love the Horizon series and LEGO games, LEGO Horizon Adventures should be a no-brainer, right? Well, in reality, it isn't. This title should have been filled with quirky combat, big levels to explore, and lots of humor-filled dialogue. However, only a third of these was present in this adventure. Introducing the man with the mind, the voice in your focus, the one, the only, DJ Summers! Sam Ince from the Beta Network here, and our goal is to save you time and money by answering the question, should you play LEGO Horizon Adventures? Alright, before we get started, full transparency. Sony sent me a code for the game for review. I'm going to do my best to be objective, but it's always good to keep that in mind. Now, on to the review. The narrative is by far the best part of LEGO Horizon Adventures. Not only is there constant wisecracks, with some of the jokes getting me to literally laugh out loud. Aloy returned home, realizing that Rost would live on in her head. His stories, his advice, his impeccable sense of humor. But the fresh take on Aloy's origins is pretty entertaining to listen to. I won't ask why you've kept it from me all this time because I'm just too excited. Give me! Huh. Um, do I, does it go like, looks like it goes here. <gasps> and I do mean listen, as most of the story is told by characters simply talking to one another with minimal movement. There were so many missed opportunities here, like the visual comedy. Whilst I did say that there was a lot of humor to be found in the dialogue, it was literally the spoken word itself because the accompanying visuals were often quite stagnant. Cultists are so convinced they're right about something usually something pretty crazy that you just can't reason with them. Oh, like how your so sure gravy goes well with pancakes. Tirsa, you're all right. Oh, I survived 13 grandchildren. It'll take more than these numbskulls to do me in. You can clearly see where the devs cut corners here with most of the characters looping their actions as they communicate with each other. It's amazing what you can find digging through old world trash. Sacred mountain time? Sacred mountain time. Yeah, I get the feeling they really like the sun. It honestly can look a little jarring after a while. There is the occasional visual goof to be found here, but not nearly as much as you would expect from this style of game. The fixed camera design is reminiscent reminiscent of the much older LEGO titles, which was pretty cool and I did enjoy seeing it make a resurgence here. But there just isn't much of an environment to interact with, which means that you are just taking a linear stroll from one enemy encounter to the next. It's so rinse and repeat that you can tell each time you're about to drop into a fight, because you are literally drop in. Whether it's from a zip line or just walking off a ledge, you drop into some grass and the battle begins. Also, what is the actual point of this long grass? As soon as you fire off at one enemy, whether they die instantly or not, or because it's a Lego game, should I say break apart, everyone is suddenly alerted to exactly where you are, and then you have to run around the combat area and defeat two to three waves of enemies before moving on through another repeated linear section. The gameplay mechanics are very one-dimensional. As Aloy, you can only use your bow. No melee, only a bow. Each of the characters that you play as only has one move that they can do, with some slight elemental variations, but that is it. Yes, they do share some powers between them that can be activated once picked up, but those abilities only have a few charges and then they're gone again. It would have been nice to see more effort put into these combat mechanics because Aloy has gone from an absolute badass machine hunter to a little Lego figure that bricks it every time an enemy gets near. Though I must admit, picking up an enemy and tossing him off the edge of a cliff has probably become my favorite pastime in this adventure. It just makes me chuckle every time I do it. Some of the other power-ups cause me to crack a smile every now and then, especially when whacking a machine with a brick separator. And they did come in useful in a pinch. But they just further proved that a lot more needs to be done with the combat as again it felt like it was on a very basic repetitive loop. By the way, unlocking all the playable characters isn't hard at all, seeing as there are only four to get in the entire game. Admittedly, each character does feel different enough and Eren's waddle is downright, well, just say for yourself. But seriously, this is a massive shortcoming for the fact that it used the LEGO branding as a selling point. A LEGO game means multiple characters to players, bigger levels with some decent puzzles and player swapping involved, and many, and I do mean many, items to smash for studs. It was honestly really frustrating to see the series adopt the LEGO name without most of its quirks. 
Now I must admit, the game does look quite nice. Unlike most other LEGO titles, LEGO Horizon Adventures uses a fully LEGO environment. Everything shown in the game itself is made out of those Danish bricks. But this is also the reason why it is all the more confusing as to why there are so few things that can actually be destroyed in the game. Literally just a few barrels and carts, and that is about it. However, I did enjoy the amount of customization that was available. From changing set outfits of characters to mixing and matching them to your heart's content, there are so many options for outfitting Aloy and friends. Also, being able to change the visual style of Mother's Heart was pretty awesome. Not only could you rebuild buildings, but you could change the color and style to suit one of several different types of LEGO playsets. Just don't go expecting too many crossovers, because most of them are more of the generic themed sets. I am aware that this review has been overly harsh, and I do recognize that the team over at Guerrilla Games haven't really attempted to do something like this in the past, but it just further begs the question, Sony, why this? If you wanted a good LEGO Horizon game, why not just reach out to Traveler's Tales? It would have made so much more sense to entrust this project into the hands of the devs that have done it again and again, rather than just throwing stuff together and hoping for the best, which seriously is what it seems like they did here. Honestly, no matter how hard I tried or how much time I gave it, I just didn't enjoy my time in LEGO Horizon Adventures. Even though the dialogue was hilarious. See, this is why nobody takes me seriously as a villain. I can handle this. <laughs> On fire. Your hands on fire. Wait, what? <laughs> With the witty banter being a particular highlight, the rest of the game left me missing what could have been. The overly repetitive level design and the combat mechanics that are very basic and unimaginative made this title feel more like a stale rinse and repeat experience. I really wanted to enjoy this game, but unless Sony is willing to give it the proper Lego treatment, it's probably best to keep the Horizon series, and any of their other IPs for that matter, away from the Lego franchise. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with our review? What's your opinion of LEGO Horizon Adventures? 